My name is Simone and I'm from Italy. I work as a data scientist in London and my dream is to become an airline pilot. Becoming an airline pilot has always been my dream. But when you're young, no one tells you this is something achievable. So I realized my dream could become my career after my bachelor's in economics, which I did mostly due to family constraints. At that point, though, I needed a lot of money to achieve this goal and my family could not fully help me with that. Also, I've always been extremely conscious about the risks of being a pilot. Everything can happen to you and you can lose your license. So it was important for me to have a solid plan B to rely on. I needed money to become a pilot and I wanted to have a plan B. So I decided I had to wait again a little bit. Doing a master and becoming a data scientist was the best strategy for me as I had the capabilities to do that and it was a very demanding and remunerative job. At that point, my plan was clear. Work and study hard to become a data scientist and with the money of this job, getting the licenses step by step to become an airline pilot. Over the last year and a half, I worked so hard to get to this point. Last summer, for example, summer 2018, I was uh, working as a waiter to sustain my data science courses. I was applying for data science masters. I was uh, preparing my IELTS and I was doing lots of data science courses online. But I was always trying to open doors that could help me becoming a pilot. I was trying to apply for every cultureship I could. American Airlines, Singapore Airlines, Fly Emirates, and so on. And it would take me at least two hours to fill a single application. And most of the time I was rejected as I wasn't citizen of the specific country of the airlines. I also got an occasion with the Pilot Kingdom, which is an Italian startup which uh, aims to help students finding their funds to become a pilot and supporting them in their path. So while I was doing all the other things, I was also preparing this test called the uh, ADAPT test. I passed it. Unfortunately, the bank that agreed with Pilot Kingdom to provide the scholarship decided to abandon us when things got concrete. So I stick on my plan. The Emirates occasion, I remember it. So unexpected. It was February and it was in the middle of my master, which was so hard. And I remember when I got this email from Emirates. Thanks for your interest in the Emirates Flight Training Academy. You have been invited to join a four days assessment in Dubai. And the assessment was only three weeks later. But I couldn't miss this occasion. I was spending days and nights at the library for my master and I had no money to go to Dubai. And this would mean uh, three weeks to prepare the assessment. But I couldn't give up. I sold a best guitar I had and with the money I made, I paid for the travel. The three weeks before the assessments were crazy. I had exam every week for my master. I had to prepare for the Emirates ones as well. And that was about math, physics, abstract reasoning, verbal reasoning, coordination, and so on. That was really tough. I remember me sending pictures to my mom back in Italy at 8 a.m. telling her, hey mom, I'm going to sleep. I arrived at the library yesterday at 8 a.m., spent 24 hours in here, good night. But that was my time. The assessments were really tough. It wasn't only about math, physics, coordination, and so on but it was also two days of medical checks of any type. It was a one hour interview with a pilot, with an Emirates recruiter and with a recruiter from the academy. But I smashed it. <laughs> the school is wonderful. Everyone is so caring with you. It's clean, it's new. One word, state of the art. For me, that was like for a child being at Disneyland. When they communicated me, I was accepted. I couldn't believe it. I remember them telling me that I'm about to be the sixth international student accepted over 40,000 applications. That is a huge honor for me. But even more, I'm the first Italian person ever accepted in the Emirates Flight Training Academy. I finished my master and now it's time to start. However, the harsh reality is that you can be given the biggest occasions in your life. You can prove your value over sacrifices and efforts. But if you don't have the money, this fades away so quick. My family cannot help me anticipating the entire amount of money required by the cost of the training. And I'm doing everything I can to find someone who believes in me. Being a pilot has always been my goal. Being part of Emirates has been more than that. It's been more than a dream. And now I have a, a once in a lifetime occasion that I cannot miss.